San Francisco is a city of some 3,500 restaurants. No matter how hectic it gets in the kitchens, the workers never fail to sort their garbage and food scraps. Households and businesses in San Francisco are required by law to sort kitchen waste. And from 2011, anyone violating the rules will be fined up to $1,000 that we also have the most aggressive recycling program in the United States of America. The goal ultimately is zero waste by 2020, and we think that's an achievable goal. In the past, food scraps were buried together with other garbage, leading the emission of methane gas, which can trap 20 times the heat of carbon dioxide. The new law is aimed at drastically reducing methane emissions by recycling food scraps into compost. A large composting facility has begun operating in the San Francisco suburbs. It has capacity to process 500 tons of waste every day. One reason for the popularity of this compost is the price. It's cheaper than most compost sold in stores. Farmer Bob Connor has been growing grapes for 30 years. His grapes are used to make California wine, which are popular in Japan. He began using the recycled compost after seeing the effect it had on his grapes. This is a very special compost. Mm -hmm. See, this compost barrel here was made with crab shell. Oh. If you want to have health and completeness, mm -hmm. then you use good soil biology, which develops and comes with compost. So waste from the dinner table becomes nutrients for vineyards, then return to the table in the form of wine. It's a great idea. It'll probably be a pain for a lot of people to put that amount of effort into their trash. By recycling kitchen garbage into compost material, the city is trying to reduce greenhouse gas emissions while also helping winemakers. Rie Fuji, NHK World.